Welcome to Mamet Tutorials. We are now going to show you how you can start using Mamet Online Desktop. Mamet Online Desktop is a web-based solution which provides you with access to the information and functionality of Mamet Business Software along with the services included in Mamet One, anywhere and at any time. From here you are able to read, create and edit information within modules such as contact management, timesheet, activity and calendar and much more. What's more, there are additional modules that are only available from Mammoth Online Desktop such as Business Year Planner and Company Dashboard. In order to start using Mammoth Online Desktop we must first set up a license. To do so we need to go to Help About within our Mammoth program. Then we need to click on Manage License Information. We now need to click on the additional product Mammoth Online Desktop and then click Add and select the desired company database. Then we click on OK. Close and OK. We now need to restart Mammoth so that the license can be updated within the program. Once we have restarted Mammoth, we can immediately see that an additional button is now available on the desktop that is called Connect to Mammoth Online Desktop. Before we connect, it is important that we ensure that all of the required information has been filled out. We therefore need to go to View, Settings, Company, and ensure that the address, telephone, and email are completed correctly. In addition, we need to ensure that the company registration number is correct and must click on Financial Settings to confirm this information. What's more, we need to ensure that the user that we are logged in as is connected to an employee within the employee register and that the user must be a super user. To ensure that the user is set up correctly, we click on OK to exit the company settings and then click on User. Here we can ensure that the user is connected to the correct employee within the employee register. By selecting Create Employee from the Link to Employee drop down list, this user will automatically be created as an employee within the employee register. We are here choosing Employee John Smith. Click on Save, Quit, and Close to return to the desktop. We are now ready to start the connection to Mammut Online Desktop. Therefore, we can click on the Connect to Mammut Online Desktop button on the desktop and then click on Connect. Click Connect again and then Next. If you have not created a Mammut ID, click on the link Create your Mammut ID and enter the required information. Once we have completed all of the required information, we click on Next. An email will now be sent to the email address that was specified in the previous window. Once we have received the email, we can click on the link within it to continue. We are now going to select a password. It is important that the password that we define contains a minimum of six characters with both capital and non-capital letters along with numbers. We can now click OK and we'll receive a confirmation that the Mammoth ID has been created successfully. We can now go to the Mammoth Online Desktop Focus Area within Mammoth Business Software and log in using our new Mammoth ID. The username is the same as the Mammoth ID and the password is the one that you entered when registering your Mammoth ID. Click Next then next again and then complete. Note that the first time synchronization may take some time if you have a large database. Once the initial synchronization is complete, synchronization will occur continuously. This means that if you, for example, create a contact in your Mammut program, that contact will be available in Mammut Online Desktop seconds later. 
The same applies for the information that you enter in Mammoth Online Desktop. It will be updated and available within your Mammoth program seconds later. Synchronization is now complete and we can log in at www.mammothonline.com to enter Mammoth Online Desktop. We are now logged into Mammoth Online Desktop and have access to the functionality defined by our license. In addition, we are able to invite other users to start using Mammoth Online Desktop. We have now shown you how you can get started with Mammoth Online Desktop. You will find additional tutorial videos on our website.